Kickoff underway. Second half, fourth quarter. Hannigan wow. on the long clearance, picks it up. Sam catching his breath. Kind of out of the box, though, Hannigan. He got lucky there. Little his feet were out. As long as the hand and the ball is inside, I think he's okay. But loose ball into the box again at the other end. Lubo's going to be called for this foul. Saying he stomped down on the player. Oh, Sinaldo's complaining that it's the fourth time it's happened. Good crowd. Good energy in this building. Today. Because this is the uh, kind of aviation capital of the world, a lot of celebrities come here That's to right. bring their planes to get fixed. John Travolta flies here frequently to get his plane fixed. And Harrison Ford. And I'm thinking to myself, look, if my plane's not running right, I'm not flying anywhere. You call AAA. You know, you call AAA. Airplane Association of America. Yeah, that's, come, that's what they're calling? Yeah, come and fix my plane. I'm not flying. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I got a shaky wing, uh, but I'm going to fly to Wichita to get it fixed. <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> well, I guess so. It happens. Things happen in life. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I don't, chips. I don't have anything to say. I don't know what to say, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can tell you there's 14-10 left in the fourth quarter. The Lancers have a two-point lead. Any other facts about Wichita? You know, Pizza Hut was founded in Kansas. Yes, you got to bring that up. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> sorry about that. Don't get upset. Farias, oh, what a great move. Draws it back, puts it through the legs of Lemons, and he gets taken down. Wow. Right along the boards, no penalty. That should have been a two-minute. Great move by Chile. Chile's just so pretty to watch with the ball at his feet. I enjoy it. A free kick by Chile across the goal mouth. Bouton got the redirect on it, but it's cleared off the line by the Wichita defense. Manson steps in front of that one. Becerra picks up the loose ball. Look at that move by Becerra. How is that not a penalty on reveal? Wow, these refs love the lack. Yeah, light they dive. are. They are. What wow. a great move by Becerra. Billy and Drecky, and rightfully so, hands up in the air. What are you kidding me? They have it right in front of the bench there. I, I can't believe he didn't call that. He's but Sarah put this beautiful body move on the defender and just spun him around, and he just took his legs right out from under him. But that's one thing we need to see more of from Becerra. He's got the talent. He has got the talent. There's no doubt about it. Hopefully he can keep putting it together. As Schindler has the ball now, forward to Ortiz. Back to Foskey. 13-10 left. The Lancers with a 15-13 lead. Hoxie looking for the hat trick. Off his boot into the penalty box. And picked up by Sinaldo. It's all 57 left. Sinaldo gets the ball back and kicks it into the open area bleachers where there's no glass along the side of the field. And the Lancers will have a free kick. Next year, that's got to change. It just slows down the game. I mean, at most arenas, those seats are wide open on top of the, the boards. But these ones are a few feet off. Answers with some pressure deep in the Wichita half. Back out now to Knapp, center circle. Intercepted though by Beasley. Coming down the near side, Foskey, nice job to intercept it. Gets it away from Viegas. Viegas back to Sinaldo, 12-12 left. And again, into the bench where there's no glass, and the Lancers will have another free kick. That's the second time it's happened in the last 20 seconds. And Sinaldo, I mean, it's not that high of a kick. It's just, you got three footed boards to work with. Hannigan drives it down the field, off the glass back in front. Sinaldo will pick it up. Villegas. Dancing away from Lubo, barely. Lubo oh. is almost gone. Viega still at midfield, dancing around with the ball. Now Reveal. Pressure there by Renfro. To Lutz, knocked off the ball by Mancic. Chile sends Mancic forward. He's knocked down behind the play. Right on the Wings logo at midfield, no call. The Wings will have possession deep in their own half. Interesting game, Joe. I mean, I tell you, I, I just can't wait for our fans to see this at home on the 12th when Syracuse comes to town. Staff's working really hard. Should be a full house on the 12th. And Bouton, a good slide tackle, takes it away from Harding. He's in on goal. Bouton, shot, diving save by Sinaldo. And a foul called as Renfro sent a Wichita player into the boards. It was Harding who crashed into the boards. Heard the thud from up here. And it'll be a... Free kick coming out the other way for the Wichita Wings. And Sam, 
look at all these banners. The Wichita Wild, is that their football team? That's their indoor football team. That's kind of why this facility was built for their football team. But they do concerts here. They do basketball tournaments here. And, and now, obviously, it's the home of the Wichita Wings. The Hartman Arena, named after their owner, Wink Hartman, who I believe you said is in the oil business. In the oil business, yep. I think he's in a lot of different businesses. But uh, that's where he, he got to start at Xerox and Rochester and then uh, got back into the family oil business and has done very well for himself. This is one of the nice arenas in the league. Brand new, 2009 it opened up. Lancers with some possession, but cleared away by Beasley. Good ball forward for Kirosh. Back to Beasley. Top of the arc, Beasley cuts it inside. Shot and a goal. Jamar Beasley has tied this one with 10.08. You kind of had a feeling as he kept pushing it and pushing it forward that he was going to get a good look at goal. That's exactly what happened. You can't give Beasley room to give him room, and he just said, hey, you know, give me some space. I, I can shoot, and he just shot lower corner, passed opposite corner, just in the goal there, and tie game again. This has been going back and forth. Ten minutes left, man. This is, this is a wild game. 4.52 the time of the goal. Beasley's got his 20th of the season, and we're tied at 15. It's going to come down to who has the ball in the last 30 seconds of play. Lancers will kick it off. Immediately taken by the wings. Harding pushing forward. Shot off the chest of Hannigan. Sales through to the other side. Now in his own box is Schindler. On the near side boards, Ortiz. To Foskey. 9.40 left. We're tied at 15. Hannigan gets it to Chile. The bicycle kick off the boards. Lobo with the rebound. He's got the hat trick. Chile doesn't score on the Blake, but he sets it up. What a ball. Chile for Rios tries the bicycle, hits the glass. Bing, bang. Lobo. Lobo with his third goal of the night. Unbelievable. The Lancers go up 17-15 to 15 here in Wichita. Wow. 18th goal of the year for Lobo. He's got the hat trick tonight. Chile for Rios gets the assist. His second assist as a Lancer, second assist on the night, and the Wings have taken a timeout. Wow, what a goal, what a goal. If that was in Rochester, the roof would be off the building right now. Chili Farias with a perfectly timed bicycle. Just missed the post, but it came right back. Lubo's all by himself, upper corner goal. Amazing. The 12th fans, the merchandise table booth. You could get a Lubo jersey. You could get a Chili jersey. You got to come down. It's going to be huge. One o'clock, no football on a Sunday. This is kind of like a tribute to the old Lancers that used to play on Sunday afternoons. One o'clock on a Sunday, Joe. It's going to be fun. February the 12th, the Syracuse Silver Knights come to town, and I wish we were at home for the fans to see that goal. A long ball set from this side of the field all the way over to that far corner, and then how Chile gets it out of the air on the bike, off the boards, back in front, and Lubo just pokes it in. A thing of beauty there by the Lancers at 5.30 of the fourth quarter. And Pat Hannigan went over to talk to the guys, like, come on, guys, is it, man? No shots. If they don't shoot, they're not going to score. Don't let them shoot, and we're fine. Just keep on pressing, man. Some of the fans working over Hannigan behind the goal. See those guys standing up there and uh, giving Pat the business. As we are underway with 9.20 left after the Wichita Wings timeout. A long ball forward. Mauricio and Lemons challenging for it. Lemons will knock it off the boards. Comes to the middle of the field where Bouton picks it up. Lemons pushing Mauricio. Hands in his back and how there's no call there. Maybe these guys are, maybe, we'll these guys are, that. Could they, maybe they're football referees also? I don't know. They like the contact. No doubt about that. Schindler with it now. Deep in his own half in the corner. There's Mauricio Lemons again all over his back. Plays it forward and it's up into the Wichita bench. Wings get the restart underway. 8.38 left. The Lancers looking for their ninth win of the year. This would be a great way to come back for that February 12th game against Syracuse. Skarosh heads it back to Sinaldo. Joe, you look at these players on the field. I've said it before. We, we have the best players in the league, man for man, and they're starting to learn this game. We, we have every outdoor team in the country, including MLS teams, calling, inquiring about these guys. What talent is on this pitch right now? And if you think that is far-fetched, folks, no, it's the truth. MLS, USL, NASL all have been in contact with the Lancers looking for players. Foul called along the boards. Bouton is taken down, and the Lancers will have a free kick. 
7.58 left. Hannigan, outside his own yellow line, takes a touch, looks up. Lancers are making some changes, so he dumps it into the corner. Kiros and Chile fighting there. It's the battle all night long that we've seen. Long ball forward for Beasley, though, and Foskey, a little sidekick out of the air, does a great job to scoop it up and win possession back to Knapp. That's great stuff. Now well, Hannigan, seven and a half left in the fourth quarter. Lancers lead it 17 to 15. Chile looking for the long ball. Kiro steps in front of him, but Miller gets his head on it. Chile, a little nudge from behind by Kiro. is taken down, but he gets right up. And applies pressure again, and Becerra now call for a little ticky-tack foul. Quick restart taken by the wings, but it's intercepted by Foskey. Plays one forward, and that's going to go into the crowd. And the wings will get a free kick right at midfield alongside the boards. We'll take an official timeout here. 7.04 left. The Lancers lead it 17 to 15 on Fickle 93.3. Watch Fresh and Fun to show how much you love your special Valentine. The Husbands Love Your Wives Valentine Gala, Friday night, 7 o'clock, February 10th at Burgundy Basin. Dinner prepared by a gourmet chef. Slow roasted prime rib and baked fresh blue water Atlantic salmon with creme brulee for dessert. Lots of laughs provided by comedian Brad Todd and live music perfect for romance and dance. It's the Valentine Gala Friday night, February 10th at Burgundy Basin. A night to remember. Tickets available at opendoormission.com. We're back with 6.55 left in the fourth quarter. Rochester has a 17-15 lead. Lubo Kosic has a hat trick tonight. Chili Farias has one goal and two assists. As the Wings are trying to possess the ball in the middle of the field. Foskey steps into it and clears it up and over the boards. The Mohican warrior, he's everywhere. I mean, tell you, this defense is just so tough, these young guys. Free kick by Reveal, headed straight up in the air. Cleared away by Foskey, now Ortiz. Let's try the needle there for Miller. That would have been a tough one to get through. Broken up by Inlow, plays it back to Sinaldo. Now Lemons coming with it, the 32-year-old veteran. A lot of veteran experience on this team. As Lemons is forced to go back for Sinaldo. Schindler's header straight up in the air. Hannigan gets the header from Mansip now. Out of his own corner. Sends it forward for Hoxie. Tried to lay it off there. Maybe should have held it. Lubo was just coming off the bench. Now Villegas. Topoke off the glass. Back in front. Revillo looking for his third on the rebound. It's shot off the glass. And now Ortiz in a shoving match. Right in front of us here with Villegas. Foul was called against the Wings. And both players shoving at one another. But who comes in to save the day? Jake the Snake Schindler says, hey, get away from my guy. Referee says, come on, play on, let's go. Let's do it. 5.43 left. Lancers are leading 17-15. to 15. Looking for their first win against the Wichita Wings. First ever win against Wichita. In their first ever meeting. These two teams will do it again, though. Later this month, the Lancers keeping possession in their own half of the field. February 18th, back here at the Hartman Arena. Hannigan's long ball avoids everyone, and it's into the box where Sonaldo will pick it up. Joe, Monday morning, man. 872 kick, you got to call. Call Team Rich Randall, Donna, Patty, Lindsay. They'll hook you up with some great tickets for your group for the next game in the 12th. Shot by Villegas, deflected in front, doesn't make its way through. Mosley with it, another shot from distance. It's blocked by the crowd in front. Harding, double team on the near side boards. Knapp and Becerra working hard there. Becerra comes away with it. He had Chile wide open down the middle of the field. He didn't give it to him. Plays it to Hannigan instead. He's knocked off the ball. Empty net, Beasley shot off the post. Beasley missed an empty netter. He's going to want that one back. Wow. Wow. Looking around the crowd, fans with their hands on their head in disbelief. I mean, Patrick Hannigan got pushed off the ball, was out of the goal. Nobody was in the goal. And they, uh... Now Chili Farias has been issued a yellow card. Yellow card. Wow. Five-minute penalty, and this is huge. 4.18 left in the quarter. Chili's been issued a misconduct. He will serve five minutes, and again, the Lancers will still play 
five-on-five five soccer, but they won't have the services of Chile. I mean, you blame Chile, though. Our goalie got mugged. He got taken foul. down. He was taken down. We had no goalie in the net, and, and, and the refs didn't even call it. And the fans are upset that Beasley missed the open goal, but why was it an open goal? Because the goalie got tackled. Wait, the game's tomorrow. The football game's tomorrow. This is soccer right now. Bad no call there. Unbelievable. Free kick on the near side boards for the wings. The referee doing a huge favor for Wichita. Sending Chile off. Kiros off the boards. Back in front. Cleared away by Renfro. In low with it now. 3.58 left. A long shot. Back in front. Beasley off the boards. And he's high again. He wanted that other wide open net. I was just looking for the net to move. And it hit the post instead. A little bit concerned about Patrick Hannigan. And that last tackle where he was taken down. I think he's limping a little bit there. 3.52 left. The Lancers are leading 17-15. to 15. Looking to get their a road, their away mark to 5-5. Five and five. 3.40 left. Sonaldo throws it downfield. Harding. Villegas, his shot from the near side is up and into the crowd, up over the goal. Hannigan will throw it in for Rochester. Crowd starting to get antsy, looking for that equalizer. The Lancers are without the services of Chile for the rest of regulation. And it gets a long throw. Lubo's in front. Corner of the box. Shot! Off the crossbar and cleared to midfield. Lubo again. Plays it back to Foskey. That may have put this one on ice. Wow. Lubo. What an opportunity for Lubo. That would have been number four for Lubo. Long ball. Hannigan taken down there by Villegas as he undercuts him. And Hannigan is holding his head. This is not a good sign. Dave DiPasquale, the Rhinos trainer, sprinting out. And you said this is a very hard surface. He landed out right on his head. You heard it. You heard, he was undercut. You heard the thump. He was undercut. He got a towel on it right now. I, I'm not seeing any blood, uh, but but I could tell the referee called for the trainer immediately. We heard the thump here. Yep. He went down really hard. We don't have a, a backup co a goalkeeper in the box right now. We didn't bring we didn't bring a, a goalkeeper on this trip. A backup keeper. This is not good. He's holding the top of his head. There was a long high ball played into the Lancers box. Hannigan came out, won the ball with his hands, then it was undercut, and while holding the ball in his hands, basically landed on his head. And it's the top of his head, and Billy Andraki is out. Hannigan is up. Gives Billy a little fist bump. And Hannigan, he's a tough cookie. Man, that was a hard thump. Boom. He was undercut there by Villegas who got up and walked away from it. Crowd, great crowd, though. They all cheered when he got up, and it's classy people here in Wichita. I love the city. I love this place. Looking forward to our return trip on February the 18th. Three ten left. Hannigan is okay. He'll throw it in deep for Mauricio Salas. Lubo's in the corner. Plays it back to Salas, who's double teamed by Lemons. Salas now starting to issue some of his own punishment as he throws an elbow. Lemons has been doing it all night long. Mauricio says, I'm going to protect myself. Foskey on the near side, Lubo. All the way back to Hannigan. Good touch by Foskey, gives it away in midfield. They're headed back into the Wichita bench by Ortiz now. Let's see if Hannigan can muster enough energy to finish off the final 238 here. Shots on goal in favor of Wichita, 13 to 12. Hannigan, right now, he's, he's off to see the wizard. Yeah, you're he, <laughs> He's like, this he, is the place to do it. <laughs> he, he hit hard. Log ball off the board. Hannigan, that's two touches now since he landed on his head. <laughs> he, right at the top of his head. Wow. Strong kid. Long throw. Oxy gets the header on it. Off the boards. And Wichita will pick up the free kick. Right at midfield, 213 left. Quiet. First ever meeting. Very, Rochester and Wichita. Joe, very quiet crowd right now. Now they've gone to the sixth attacker, Kirosh, wearing the green sixth attacker jersey. We, you knew it was going to come to this point. These two teams were just trading back and forth. They were tied. One team would take a slight lead. They've got 153 left. Wichita's gone with the sixth attacker. Perez, Viegas, now the sixth attacker is Kirosh. Lemons, hard shot across the goal mouth, and Foskey deflects it up and into the crowd. 142 left. Becerra, Hoxie come off. Schindler, Ortiz come on. Crowd on their feet for the final 142. Played out to the top of the yellow line. Kiroche. 
Now Perez. Back to Kirosh. Wichita goal is wide open. Lemons along the board. Tannigan off his line. Cleared away by the Lancers. Reveal in front of the Lancers bench. 124 left. Kirosh fakes the shot. Reveal takes the shot. Blocked by Ortiz. Fountain's got a wide open goal. Pushing it down. Crosses midfield. Shoots. It's wide of the goal. Wow. Carry Pound break away. Kirosh with it now. One minute left in the fourth quarter. Lancers lead by two. Perez tries a left-footed shot blocked by Ortiz. Headed forward again. Top of the arc, Lemons. To Lute with the shot, blocked. Nap, little chip forward, 45 seconds left. Fountain, call for the handball. Right at midfield, 44 seconds left. Joe, I gotta stand up, this is unbelievable. This, what a match. Free kick here for the Wings. Revio has been dangerous all night long. Finds Perez along the near side boards. Beasley spinning, turning, trying to find the opening. Foskey is there. Good hard challenge by the number eight for the Lancers. 27 seconds left. Lancers up by two. Wichita, sixth attacker. Lemons with the header off the crossbar. Rebound! Beasley misses it wide from point blank range. 15 seconds left. Kirosh long shot from distance. Lemons with the rebound and scores! He roofs it into the upper netting with nine seconds left. He skies it up and over Hannigan. We're tied at 17. Wow. This is just an amazing match. I mean, it was just like six attacker just in our box constantly coming at us, coming at us, and boom, he saw an opening, skies it up over Hannigan, point blank. The Lancers call for a timeout, Joe. Timeout is called with nine seconds left. The crowd going berserk here in Wichita. A heartbreaking goal to give up. With nine seconds left, the Wings have tied it up. Lemons, Chris Lemons has his fourth goal of the year. Wow. What a game. Well, if you're having thoughts about coming to that game on February the 12th, I think this should have answered all of your questions. It has been an incredible night of indoor soccer at the Hartman Arena in Wichita. The Lancers have nine seconds left. They have the kickoff. Sinaldo is back in goal. The sixth attacker pays off for LeBaron Holloman. And Salas to Knapp. Quickly downfield for Miller. Off the glass. Kirosh. Clears it forward, and we are going to overtime. Second overtime game of the year for the Lancers. And we'll take a short break, and we'll get you set up for overtime. We're tied at 17 on Fickle 93-3.